Spotlight. I'm Sam Householder alongside uh, Nate Ritchie. Uh, welcome, Nate, and why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, my name is uh, Nate Ritchie, and I'm a senior at Northridge High School. Um, I live with my family over in uh, Middlebury uh, with my parents and my sister, who is a freshman, also at Northridge. All right. Uh, so how's the basketball season going so far, Nate? It's going uh, pretty good. We are 9-1 um, and one going into the Northwood game tomorrow night. And uh, so they are um, undefeated, so it's it should be a pretty good game. But yeah, like I said, we're uh, nine and one right now. It's it's going uh, very well, and I think uh, everyone on the team is enjoying it. So uh, it's very interested to see how it goes. Uh, what do you like to do outside of uh, school and sports and everything? Um, I mean, basketball takes up a lot of my time. So um, when I'm not at school or playing basketball, I just like to hang out with my family and friends, and. Uh, in the summer or in the spring, I like to uh, take in some golf. So, just kind of pretty uh, low key um, besides the basketball stuff. Okay. Uh, do you have any pregame rituals or superstitions? Uh, I actually I wear the same socks for each game. Uh, I wear a pair of yellow ones, and then covering those are white ones. But uh, the biggest superstition so far this year is my sister. She uh, comes to every game, um, besides one, and the uh, one game that she didn't come to is the game that we lost. So. Um, right now I'm kind of riding on that, and uh, hopefully she will come to as many gas basketball games as she can. So we'll see how that goes. Okay. And uh, you said something about eating M&Ms. Do you eat oh, M&Ms yeah. every game? No, I do not, but my, mo my mother does. And she, too, the one game that she did not eat the M&Ms was the uh, pen game. So uh, <laughs> we'll, it, we'll see uh, how those superstitions uh, play out. And do you have a favorite professional basketball player or someone you like to model your game after? Um, yeah, he doesn't play anymore, but it's got to be Michael Jordan just because he's the best of all time and, um, in my eyes, the best basketball player to ever play the game. And I just just love the way how he uh, played and how he strived to make people better. So I like to uh, try to follow what he did and just go from there. All right. And what, what kind of life lessons do you feel like uh, sports have given you? Um, I mean, they give you a lot, but... Probably the biggest in my eyes is just to cherish, cherish every uh, second of it just because I can remember back to uh, freshman year just starting uh, the season and saying, oh, I have a lot of time and everyone telling me, hey, it's going to go by very, very fast. And I'm like, eh, it's, it'll, 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 it'll take a while. But now uh, Coach Thomas actually just said a couple days ago at practice to me and uh, Sam Mahone and my other senior, um, you guys have uh, about two months left. And. That, that really uh, hit me pretty hard just to realize that I am almost uh, done with this. So, yeah, just cherish the, cherish the time. And uh, uh, a as a senior and getting into your second semester, are you feeling the senioritis at all? Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I mean, everyone has to be. It's just it's been a long uh, seven semesters before this, so it's, it's almost there, but uh, I think uh, we're all getting uh, ready to get out of there. Uh, and what what are your future plans uh, beyond high school? Are you looking at colleges? You, yeah, you think I'm, you're gonna play? Yeah, I'm definitely looking at colleges. I'm undecided right now. Um, I'm probably looking to go at the end of the end of the basketball season to make a decision. But uh, I definitely um, want to study pre med or a biology degree to go to medical school and uh, become a doctor. So that that right now is my plans. But like I said, undecided on the school. All right. Well, thanks very much, Nate, for being with us, and uh, that'll do it for us here at TGN. Uh, Thank you very much for watching.